Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. Back again. Apparently, we are finding out all kinds of new things I did not know about uh, when it comes to stealing. Apparently, stealing is okay. I, I, I got it all wrong. And, of course, we have another segment of celebrities not knowing when to shut their mouth. And a Fox News reporter decides to go rogue. Let's hit it one more time. Yes, my friends, it is a brand new day. Apparently, stealing is okay. Pay attention! That is right, because uh, apparently these BLM supporters and these people in Chicago, listen to what this woman has to say. They get upset when people start looting. People in this city are struggling through a pandemic. So I don't care if somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike. I support them looting the, the Dollar Tree. I support the looting of uh, what other did they loot? Uh, like the like the advanced auto parts. Because that makes sure that that person eats. That makes sure that that person has clothes. That makes sure that that person can make some kind of money because this city obviously doesn't care about them. Generally speaking, uh, you come across one or two of these type of women, you stay away from them. These are problems. Okay, I'm going to give them a break. Okay, they're young and foolish. Most definitely foolish. They're forgetting the whole picture. They're just looking at one narrow segment. Yeah, what happens when the old people need to go to the store, drugstore or other stores, and the stores in their area are closed because they will not be repacking those stores if stealing is rampant. Oh, don't believe me? Oh. Okay, let's find out. The Walgreens at Van Ness and Eddie in San Francisco will close its doors for good November 11th. Customers say the store is known for being a notoriously easy place to shoplift. I've heard the Walgreens is real easy to peel from. Oh, Why is that? Because they don't chase you. Of course, you don't know what you're talking about. That's a Walgreens. That's a big corporation. They got lots of money. No, it doesn't end there. The minority stores are getting uh, robbed too, so they're not coming back. This keeps the whole pair, the whole area depressed, and they keep throwing good money after bad. Hey, we're going to build up these depressed areas. No, you're not. Any money you throw in there is going down the tubes. Only an idiot invests their money in a, in, a, in a place where when you do it, you're going to lose. Now, I'm sure there won't be any problem with the liquor stores and the convenience stores and the fast food stores. But there will be a lot of stores which will not be coming back. It's just the way it is. Not only that, that's reparation. That's reparation. That's reparation. This just in, slave owner descendant Carter Pewterschmidt has paid $20,000 or 2 million pennies in reparations to a local black man. We now go live to the local black man. Well, the money helps, but I'll always feel my ancestors' pain. You don't understand. You gotta be down for the struggle. Hmm. Hey. Um, I remember last year they looted Target. I support all that loot all that Do you know why? Because black people and marginalized and oppressed people could loot every store in this whole country for 200 years and would not even come close to the debt that America owes. And neighbors agree shoplifting has been an ongoing problem at this location and may be a major factor in why it will soon be closed. Customers say the shelves are bare, the company not even bothering to restock. Idiot says what? <laughs> and apparently we've got this sex in the city celebrity throwing her two cents in it. Oh yeah. Let me hear what she's got to say. <laughs> 
Dex in the City actress and failed gubernatorial candidate Cynthia Nixon says poor people should be allowed to steal personal goods from stores. Poor people should be allowed to steal personal goods from stores. Poor people should be allowed to steal personal goods from stores. Really? Is this where it's got to? Huh? Does this make any sense at all? Well, there you go, my friends. Poor people can steal things from stores, apparently. Not a problem. And this is the sort of thing you can expect from our celebrities. Brain-dead statements from brain-dead people. I don't know what to say. That is it. I am out of here. Enjoy your day. And I will see you soon. Let's go.